Hi, good evening to you both. Yeah, North Brantford was the first police department to implement this program. Now that number is six and counting. And this all started with a mother trying to protect her son. Colton McClain. This is six-year-old Colton and his mom, Ashley McLean. Godzilla? Godzilla. Like many parents, Ashley will go to great lengths to protect her babies, especially for Colton, diagnosed with autism at about three and a half years old. Despite everything, Cole is probably the most resilient. He's the funniest um, kid I have ever met. Um, he's taught me more about life than anybody else. Now, Ashley is taking that knowledge and teaching first responders how to work with people like her son in emergency situations how we can support first responders, but then also our community as well. All this coming after a not so comfortable experience with one officer. We were pulled over. I admittedly was speeding. Um, he was also having seizures in the back of the car. So I was on the way from his speech therapy to the emergency room. Now she's turning that experience around in training officers how to respond and combining resources into these sensory packs for them to use on the road. We have picture exchange communication cards. There's also fidget toys, a whiteboard, headphones, and light sensitivity glasses now sitting in the patrol cars of participating departments. We didn't have a policy to, to address this. North Brantford Police is one of the first departments to implement the program. Knowledge is power, right? And if we can take the stress level for a family or for a child down before we even arrive on scene, that's not just huge for us, but that's huge. It pays dividends down the road for every family. It's the relationship building. It's the trust that the individuals are now seeing in the police officers or the firefighters that are coming to their houses. Now, on top of the training and the sensory packs, participating police departments are also asking families to voluntarily fill out this autism safety alert form so they know exactly what they're dealing with and how to respond to each call. Now, as we mentioned, six police departments across Connecticut are taking part in this program, but Ashley says the interest is spreading far and wide. We are live here in North Brantford tonight. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.